Okay, so you're wanting to manifest your SP back, but I urge you to consider to do this first before you start manifesting your SP back. And I would like to say before I get into this video, if you don't like this video, I say kindly and from the bottom of my heart, this video is probably for you. And I just want you to have an open mind and take it for what it's worth because I want you to get your special person back, your specific person back, okay? So before you start manifesting your person back, I want you to really think, why are we not together? Did they break up with you or did you break up with them? If they broke up with you, I want you to really sit and think, why did this person really break up with me? Was it because I'm too controlling? Am I too grumpy? Am I too sassy? Am I too boring? Um, did I not give enough love time? Think about whatever it was that this person says that that's why they broke up with you. Because most likely you have some kind of idea. Then I want you to consider, okay, is the reason they broke up with me true? And it very well could be. Maybe it is something that you might consider working on on yourself. Because sometimes it's a good thing to reflect about ourselves, what we're putting back out to the world because that would ruin relationships. If you're not a very pleasant person or you're not very good at give take in the relationship, then that is good for you to be aware of and you can fix it. So I would consider evaluating yourself and if you are someone that has some of those characteristics, really try to work on that. Work on your self-concept, work on your personality. And you know, if you love the way that you are and maybe you are a super sassy, grumpy person, but you love that, okay. But accept that and then accept that you might not be able to manifest a person who is more happy-go-lucky if you're a grumpy, sassy person. See what I'm saying? So if you are willing to do the work on yourself, the self work, the self care, the self concept work, then after you do the work, that would be the perfect time to really start manifesting this person back into your life because when they come back into your life, they're gonna get the new improved version of you and not the old version that they didn't enjoy being with. Does that make sense? So that's what I want you to consider before you go trying to manifest your SP back because if you don't make those changes, yes, it's possible to manifest some, someone back into your life, but you might not be able to keep them because most likely you're not going to be manifesting that they love your grumpy personality every day because that would be exhausting and it's just not gonna be natural and the relationship's not gonna be flowy. So take this into consideration and I hope that maybe you had some awareness about yourself during this video and maybe an aha moment like, yeah, maybe that's why they broke up with me and correct it. It can be correct. You can change your personality. You can change your self-concept if you want to. If you don't, then, you know, it, it's not going to work. So don't even waste your time or their time trying to manifest them back into your life because you're not going to be a good match. So I send out this message with the best intention and the most kind intention because I want you to be able to have that love life that you desire. So sending you guys all the love and light and I'll see you next time.